Now, before Congress, here's another request. We had one last year. We had two or three the year before to raise your public debt. And they want to raise it to $332 billion. I suppose the only time we never had a public debt was in the days when Andy Jackson was the president of the United States. But other than that, I have no recollection that we have been without a debt, but never of such colossal proportions as the debt we have today. We have a temporary debt limit, which we established last year. That was $328 billion. See, the Treasury and the administration want to add $4 billion to that limit. The actual limit, as of this moment, I think is about $319 billion. But you see, we have an actual limit, we have a temporary limit, and we have a permanent limit. If Congress did nothing about the debt, if the debt level would go back to $285 billion. That is the permanent debt ceiling. But if we did, we would be so far shy of what we actually owe that it would constitute a kind of repudiation. And I dread to think what would happen in the money markets, the bond and stock markets, not only of our own country, but other countries as well. So now we're confronted with this new request to raise the public debt, your public debt, by another $4 billion.